Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from RGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Alpha 2 Mitsubishi Alpha 2 Smart Relay PLC, call it whatever you like. We're going to be checking out how to upload, download the program, do a sample programming and we're also going to be checking out how to uh, establish the connection with the PC. And to do that we are going to need a uh, serial bridge converter anyone any other serial to a usb converter will do uh, unless you want to pay quite extra more money to mitsubishi to get something that is just cheap a lot, lot cheaper if you just buy your own so this one i'll leave the description uh, the the part number of this guy in the description below is manufactured by a very good converter and also we're going to be using a uh this guy in here not sure you can use it and see it in there. It's a official uh, connector for a uh, smart relay, a Mitsubishi smart relay to a uh, RS-232 port, which again is going to be converted by our antenna converter. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be going through all the wiring and uh, how to wire it and things like that. And there's going to be more videos coming out regarding this. There's probably going to be a three or four of them. We're going to be checking out all add-on cards and analogs, and we're going to be checking out how to read temperatures and bits and pieces like that so uh do i will leave all those videos as they get progressed in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we are. So the first thing, as always, what we do is check out how the wire the uh, controller. Let's start with inputs in here. Right in here, we got the plus and the minus, and these these two things is where you power your controller. What well, next to is A and B. These will be to do with the uh, analogs, which we're going to be checking out in upcoming videos. And then obviously from there on, a 1 to a 15 uh, is our inputs and uh, half of them can be configured to be a, as analogs, which we are going to be playing in some point in the future. So uh, the power for, for the inputs are coming from the actual uh, power controller power source in here. So uh, it's already got the, the source to power it. So all it needs to do is got the neutral already coming to the actual inputs. All you need to do is send the 24 volt signal back. Uh, from your switches or whatever you or sensors or whatever you are trying to do and in our case Let me just move that across As you can see down here. I forgot to show you that in here So you can see my power supply in here is a T a T plus and I'm also sending this T plus to my switches what we do in here which are powering all my uh, uh, Well all my switches in here and from there as you can see each switch is going back to uh, the controller respectively as you can see right here they're all returning here and as a switch will be uh, switched it will uh yeah as you can see when by me clicking the switch oh you can't see it because of the lamp as you can see as i click the switches it is a sort of a send a 24 volt signal back and your control is receiving a signal so uh, regarding outputs i have a second uh power supply in here let me just straighten this now my second power supply is S, as you can see in here, and that S is coming to this relay com in here. Each one of these, as you can see, there's a, a, a relay one, uh, output one, two, uh, there's going to be three and a four, and there's a group of a uh, set of, uh, what was that, four there? Yeah, four or five there. So each one of these relays can have a different voltage use, if you wish. I'm using 24 volt, and I'm using this one in here because it's just, I, need, I can use only one. Uh, 24 volt uh, signal in here for the com and to power both outputs so i'll show you in a minute how the outputs work in here you can uh, this would be your com in here and for these two you can have separate comms if you wish and now that, that is pretty much as you can see down here my minus s if you can see down here let me move those my s minus is coming to my lamps and somewhere as well, as well going to my training belt down there and it's powering all my lamps and uh, send in a neutral to all my lamps and a, and a back in here and from there on they will be receiving a, a 24 volt from the relays uh, over here so the relays will be sending 24 volt out uh, 24 volt out and we'll be sending it to the lamps to put them on and also we'll be activating as you can see in here some of my uh these guys uh these uh, these inputs in here so that's pretty much when it comes down to wiring so here we go i love this sliding bit so uh regarding the regarding actual controller itself your programming bit is in here this one always sticks in quite a bit so do here we go force that one out 
And as I already said in our, our very beginning, we are using uh, this cable in here. This is the part number in here. So uh, plug it in, but works on both on, uh, in, in, on the first series, Alpha 1 and Alpha 2. Do force it in. Here we go, properly. Once you force it in, it should be right there. So make sure it's all the way down, otherwise the communication will not be there. And uh, as I showed already in the video, I am using my RS-232 converter. You don't need anything expensive, just a standard converter will do. So uh, this part in here, it does need a bit of force to come off. And in here, you can. this is where you connect your additional cards. And in here, you uh, believe you can connect your uh, HMI if you wish. So this is pretty much, uh, and additional uh, cards in there as well. So this is uh, this is something we're going to be cracking on later on. We're going to be checking out all different types of ways of setting this guy up. So the next, uh, let's have a look at uh, our actual the menu itself. Uh, by uh, clicking uh, OK or Escape, any of them, it will take you straight to the uh, top menu. And from there on, by using a uh, up and down buttons, these guys in here, you can pretty much go and put it in a run mode. Every time you want to go into run mode, that's what you need to do. Start the controller, you need to be in a run mode in here. Uh, you can adjust parameters in here. You can set all sorts of things if you wish by entering in and then do whatever you want to do. Uh, again, check out this manual. You can actually set a lot of things to be displayed on the actual screen if you want as well. Again, we're not going to be talking about this in these videos. So, and then you can actually edit the program if you want to. I don't know why would you, because the software is for free, so we might as well uh, use it. And from there on, you a clock, language, and then in others, you can set up the, uh, this. This is what we're going to talk about a bit later on, about analogs. Uh, serial communication or whatever the summertime is, menu keys you can set up in a program if you wish to. Again, this is basically the menu. That's pretty much how you go in and out. It's quite straightforward menu, nothing too, too complicated. So uh, having said that, we pretty much uh, have covered uh, what we need to cover uh, regarding uh, wiring and a bit of a screen itself. So next thing, let's jump on the computer and start, uh, get this guy communicating with the PC. Here we are, so uh, first thing we want to do yeah, is click the link in the description below. It will take you to this uh, page and uh, log in. Do uh, open. You do need to have an open Mitsubishi account, otherwise you will not be able to see any of the uh, softwares for our download. And then go straight to the softwares once you've got your account open. And from there on you should be able to, and which once it's loading in, it's taking a bit of his time. Come on. Wow, this is taking slow. Come on. Just loading it. Here we go. And in our uh, open search, just type in alpha. And click OK. And it should uh, open a software alpha for you. And it's pretty much should it. Here we go. As you can see down here, the last, uh, last time it was actually updated, it was in 2016. Pretty much 2017, so this is pretty much just click uh, download. As you can see, it downloads alpha into your computer. I'm cancelling that one, don't need that. And once you get to that one, uh, install it as a normal for installation, and you should be able to open a window like this alpha programming. Looks ancient, but it is what it is. Does the job, works perfectly. So from there on, uh, you don't really need to do it. You can actually, once you connect it to it, so uh, if you go for communi uh, communications configuration, do make sure you are in a correct com if you're using the same setup as mine. So and to check that, uh, jump on a manager, a device manager, check your USBs. So because you are converting to USB, you are checking USBs. And then as you can see, my one is called Attend USB Serial Bridge and is set to COM3. Really, really good product. Uh, Attend USB, it pretty much works with any PLC I've ever worked with and it converts anything. Uh, so uh, yes, yeah, so this product is definitely well proven to be very, very good. So uh, once you've done that, pretty much that is good. And uh, obviously, if you want to test to make sure it's fine, so click test. As you can see, actual controller is connected. That's quite weird of saying that, but it is what it is. So and then let's just download what's inside the controller. Let's have a look if there is an area go. That's something I already put in there myself. And this is pretty much uh, what it would look like. And if, if you 
if we want to back it up and uh, whatever the program you download or trying to back up again we are looking on this from a, a service maintenance engineer perspective where we want to back up all our programs if we can from there on you can literally go into save and save whatever and whatever folder you want and keep it in your folder for the safe uh, keeping and from there on if you as you can see we 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 done that set set this one and uh, let's do a uh, no actually we're gonna keep it that I was, th I was thinking to we we're gonna click something for reverse let's change that a little bit so just just looking around so let's have a look what we've got in there we've got output three and f4 let's make one go backwards one go forward so uh let's uh, delete this guy so uh we are going to say set, use a normal set and reset i'll show you how that add in a minute and uh which one was it was it uh, let's go three it's gonna go forwards and let's uh, set another reset in here make it more or less looking pretty and do that and we also are gonna do the same reset uh, for this one oh missed that that and from there on we're we gonna take that and we're gonna activate a for i'm not gonna bother put uh, interlock into it for the uh, for the time being uh so that's pretty much yeah just a very basic program to, which i'm going to demonstrate in a minute with the buttons so uh, that's uh what you can do and then from there on uh, we'll, let's uh, uh right to the controller and then put in run run mode as well because we're going to be quickly to, uh, checking into a monitoring mode so here we go once it goes into that uh, mode we are as you can see in here is monitoring mode you can actually have simulation mode and also things like that there's a start stop up here so uh if you look if you look at the controller right in, uh, right into the a screen right there as you can see there's a little uh, like a line going around so if i if i click uh, that on as you can see my belt is already spinning as you can see I put three zone for the testing purposes and uh, I will click that and then I'm gonna send it backwards as well as you can see if I'll put four comes on we're gonna check that out in a minute and just giving you a sort of a some uh, ideas what you can do with it and that's pretty much the software and then, then play around I will leave a programming software in a description below so you can definitely check out and practice a little bit more but it's a very good smart relay but you can have a lot of fun with it so we have uploaded that already uh, well download upload I don't know into the controller and uh, let's go check it out how that looks from uh, the actual uh, belt thing here we are so all the belt is all set ready to go so let's unplug uh, this bad boy that stick in there quite a bit so once that is unplugged again we're going to be playing quite a bit more with more parts will come in we'll show you a little bit with analog signals and things like that so yeah as opposed to you can see the program is in a run a mode and by clicking star We'll stop it and we are at the same time we are able to go backwards as well and that ladies and gentlemen will be a basic cover of a, uh, a Mitsubishi Alpha 2 software and uh, I forgot how to here we go two of those and then we need to go to the stop mode here we go and then press stop mode and by OK it will, as you can see, it has stopped the controller and the controller will no longer respond to any of the buttons and will not execute any program. So that, ladies and gentlemen, will do the basic setup for a uh, Alpha 2. So uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you like the video, do smash that like and uh, don't forget to comment below. If you have any questions, uh, do ask them in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as and accurate as I can. So uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in next video.